Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this issue with WhatsApp outdated. If you're trying to run this on a Windows computer and your WhatsApp is out of date, today I'm going to show you how to update it and get it working on your Windows desktop. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So basically, when WhatsApp says it's outdated, it means that you're using an old version of WhatsApp that you've downloaded from the WhatsApp website and you're going to have to use a new version. It doesn't really matter what it says here. It says connecting to WhatsApp. This will never be able to log in because this version of WhatsApp is now out of date. We need to download it from a new source. So I'm going to close this here now and we're now going to get a start menu and this is the same whether you're on Windows 10 or 11. Then we're going to type in the word store and then go to the Microsoft store. So once we're in the Microsoft store what we're going to do is to find the WhatsApp app. So it's actually up here on top for your apps but if it's not there you can always do a search and type in WhatsApp and then do a search for that and then we're going to install this version here. Now you might also need to log into your account so if you want to, and you can do that for free just click on this button here and then log into your Microsoft account if it prompts you to log in. So once that's completed what we're going to do is to press the open button here and that's going to open up our WhatsApp. What I would do is to right click on here and pin it to your dock so that even if you close it it's always going to be there and what I would do is if you have this on your dock right click on here and then click unpin from taskbar and that's going to remove that from there so once whatsapp is open we're going to press the get started button and just do the standard setup so what you need to do is go into whatsapp on your phone and then go to settings on the bottom right here and then click on linked devices and then within linked devices we're going to press this button which says link a device once you've typed in your passcode all you need to do is to scan the QR code with your phone then you've gone in and logged into WhatsApp desktop on your computer. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.